Hello everyone, this is Satyajit and today I am going to show you how you can install DDWRT in your router. Uh, the router that I would be using is the TP-Link WR740N which is a 150M router and uh, let me show you here it is the login page. Ad the default username password is admin. Now if you go to status here you can see that it is WR740N V5. Now the V5 is very important because it is the hardware version of your router. Uh, so make sure that you uh, just remember that if it's it's uh, written at the back of the router, uh, you can see it's it's written V5. So if it's uh, V3, V4, or V5, just remember that. And uh, to get started, first you have to download the DDWRT firmware. So go to their website ddwrt.com. Then go to router database and then search the name of the router that is WR740 and uh, you can see here right away that it is supported by DDWRT so you can flash it on your router and make it a super router. So for that uh, my version is uh, for 5.0 so I'll go to and I need the latest firmware so I'll go to the other downloads. Uh, betas 2016 and the latest one that is 5 10 2016 uh, now I'll just uh, control F WR740 ok fine yeah, here you can see the TP-Link TLWR740 and V5 just click on that and then you'll get these two files uh, download both of the files and place it in a folder I've already downloaded and placed it in a folder TP-Link W740N and I've also downloaded this into the downloads folder. So download both of them. Let me just navigate to the folder. Uh, download, yeah. So I've named it as the latest. Here are the latest files. These are the older files which are already flashed and it uh, these also work. Sometimes the latest one has bugs, so this I couldn't find any bug except that the down point in WR740N is that it will only work in 74 Mbps rather than its original 150 Mbps. Now after you have got both these files, it's now very easy to flash. Now go to your router page that is 192.168.01, login admin admin, then go to system tools then go to uh, firmware upgrade then choose file now navigate to the where you downloaded the binary file which I downloaded from DDWRT website the uh, latest uh, then select the factory to DDWRT.binary now hit upgrade I'll show it up with firmware yes I'm sure now this will take about maybe two minutes I've already uh, installed DDWRT and also installed the stock firmware and so I'm making a video so teach you guys how you can install DDWRT. As you can see, the router is currently restarting. You can see the LEDs blink. I think it has already flashed the firmware. Now let me go to, now the default IP address was 192.168.0.1 but after you flash DDWRP, DDWRT it has changed to 192.168.1.1 Now as you can see here the DDWRT is working. The first thing that it will ask you is to uh, change the username and password because uh, if someone else connected to your open network then he can change it easily I user 
password is user enter to confirm user change password now we are into this the router right away you're gonna see so much info it gives info about your uh, memory total available free use buffers cache is uh, it tells you about uh, the wireless packet information how much received and how much transmitted it tells you about the tx power as i as i was telling you the downside of the ddwrt firmware in my wr 740n is that the wireless rate is limited to 72 mb per second uh, everything else works and but uh, the, you might remember that we had downloaded two files so the uh, now is the purpose for the second file so go to administration task user user uh, now you go to firmware upgrade choose file now choose the second fly, file which is tlws740nv5 web flash open and upgrade this will take another minute also upgrading 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 upgrade successful unit is rebooting now please wait a minute Wait a moment. The router is rebooting. And I think it should be up now. Okay, fine. You do it. It should work now. works keep upgrading so now it has upgraded properly now you can uh, use the router as you want you can uh, go to setup and then uh, uh, select your connection type and you can change the router name you can change the domain name the host name you can change the router IP right away then uh, after you have configured your uh, connection you should be able to connect to the internet you can go to wireless and configure the Wi-Fi. You can. There are many other modes available. There are the client, client bridge, and ad hoc, and the WDS option. Uh, you can use the WDS option to repeat. Uh, it's kind of a repeater, uh, not exactly a repeater, but you can use that also. And there's the thing, the super channel, which will. Uh, broadcast in a different channel uh, which will give you much better connectivity if there is a lot of crowdedness in your area uh, the security uh, there are two extra added the radius uh, is extra added and uh, you can now choose the mixed and there are uh, so many options here I think those were there in the official firmware also I haven't used it much the TP link I have used the D link one you can use access restrictions let's see what's in security the SPI firewall that's uh, usual the services we have the VPN which isn't available in the stock form where you have the hotspot system you can use the uh, hotspot like the chili spot uh, where you can give the user list uh, and how which users can uh, log in and you can uh, they can use your uh, internet for example you are uh, running a cafe and you want you have this router and then you can use this to uh, for the people to log in the services there's the DHCP client is the normal and these DNS masking is also there uh, telnet is enabled and traffic counter enabled okay uh, NAT QS port forwarding these are there in the normal also uh, in administration uh, there are more options 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 uh, uh, let's just change this to green why not it's TP link save so green is back keep alive keep alive the connection should get you to reboot so it can uh, sometimes rebooting gets the internet back sometimes the internet doesn't work or the Wi-Fi doesn't work and so this can reboot uh, uh, periodically like uh, 
every six hours or twelve hours. You can directly uh, run sh uh, shell commands from here. WL okay, wake on line is also there. You can change the factory defaults here. You can also back up from here. And this is back to the status page where you can see everything. You can see how much your van is being used, how much your LAN is being used, and how much how much your wireless that is the Wi-Fi is being used. And here you can see the total bandwidth monitoring on of your LAN. So this is a completely different level. It's for people who know how to use all these functions. Uh, if you are not, if you don't want to use so many functions, or uh, then you can simply flash the stock firmware back. I also have a video on that, so do check out my channel for that. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and also like this video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you disliked it. But eventually I'll make some good videos. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.